What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we started our venture through the hospital. We ran into quite the uh, rather rather suspect individual, and now we're going to head up to the second floor and explore a bit more there. I do want to preface this episode by saying that it's been a minute since I've played the game. For those of you that don't uh, interact with me much on Discord, I've actually been sick for the past like week or so, and I've had a really bad cold, and my voice has sounded really off, and I've had a bad cough, and I might may, may still cough even a bit during this episode, but because of how much I had pre-recorded prior to getting the cold, and then the duration of the cold, it's probably been a little over a week since I've actually played the game, which uh, means I'm a little bit rusty as far as the, the controls go, and the story goes, and everything, so just bear with me as I re-figure it out. Now... One of the things that was mentioned was that there is something in potentially, I think, the, the director's office. I don't remember 100% uh, that I should look into a little bit more before moving on. So I'll do that briefly and, well, then move on to the, the second floor. <laughs> but, yeah, I've already fallen suspect to the colds of, you know, um, the, the winter. But that's part of what uh, doing family medicine is about. <laughs> That's the rotation I'm currently on, so I interact with people on a daily basis. 20 plus people that oftentimes come in coughing, sneezing, all that jazz. And, okay, so I think, I forget exactly where it was, um, but, I don't know, I'll, a glass vial lies shattered, it's not just broken, it looks smashed on purpose. The only thing I can think of is if I'm maybe supposed to interact with this and maybe pick up some of the liquid using this bottle. Is all I can think of. The remaining liquid is emptied in the plastic bottle. Now what have we here? Oh, okay, so that's what I was supposed to do there. Um, again, uh, honestly, and I, I talked about this with uh, the, the commenter. Uh, leaving the specific suggestion that was left was a little bit over the, the border of spoiler versus helpful suggestion uh, territory. But, nevertheless, I do believe this has some sort of impact on an ending, um, which is neat that there are, you know, multiple endings and all. And I think now we can actually go up to the second floor, and are we, let's see, are we going to have... Oh, that's right, this is how I pick the elevator and everything. I was like, we're going to have our typical, you know, elevator scene. I'm ready. Oh, I didn't even realize I could walk while doing that. Um, anything, anything of interest on this tray? No? Okay. We've got quite a few rooms to go. There weren't too many enemies on that first floor, which is why I'm a little bit concerned. It felt like it was a little bit too simple, and apparently we're missing a key that we need. If that door is jammed, how else are we going to get up here? Maybe that stairwell? But I don't think I could actually get to that stairwell. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the third floor. That would be an interesting little uh, you know, change of where you'd expect to go versus where you actually end up going. Oh, I was waiting for us to get outside of the elevator and be like significantly darker or something. All right, well, let's let's give it a go. No, this one's jammed too. Did you guys hear that? Sounds awfully sinister. Well, then I'm sure we've got to find a key. The question is, where are we going to actually find that key? I was pretty confident we'd searched everywhere possible. We could head back to the generator room, I guess, but the whole point of the beginning part of this hospital run, right, was getting to the generator room, turning on the generator so we can go on the elevator to the second or third floor because I believe the stairwell wasn't accessible to us. Right. So all I can think of is maybe there's somewhere on the first floor we didn't fully explore and, and that's what we've potentially got to do. We can, we can give it a go. Did I go to the first floor or not? Let's take a look. And of course, the worst case scenario is there's always a spoiler-free walkthrough I have um, available that I can reference should I need to. 
I really thought that we had explored everything pretty thoroughly. Hmm. But no, it's not like we have a key or anything like that, so... I don't know. Uh, I don't. I didn't see anything in there. We could head back in here. One thing that's kind of nice is that we don't actually have to worry about a lot of enemies. We are relatively free to just kind of explore. Oh, that's right. This is the director's office. We've already taken a good look in here. At least in my opinion. That said, I, I did think that about all of the places on this floor. And, well, we saw where that got me. Is it in here? There's got to be some sort of puzzle to solve or something. I feel like this perspective keeps telling me that there's something up here. We already took the plastic bottle. Is there somewhere I'm supposed to put the red liquid, maybe? Phone's out. I don't know, guys. Great, great run back into the, the series after taking a break. Oh man, I'm already stumped. Three minutes in. It's a little bit longer than three minutes, but... Anything in here? I mean, I feel like I've gotten a better grasp of what the items look like and everything when, you know, you can interact with them. Because they do tend to stand out from the environment, which is much appreciated, because otherwise I'd be doing what I'm doing now a lot more. <laughs> and just kind of walking around, hitting X, trying to interact with things that I might have a chance of interacting with. I feel like we already, yeah, we got like a particular key in here, I think. So, I don't know, guys. And again, when I look at the map, we've tried a lot of the doors, right? It would have to be in the medicine room or the examination room or the office or something like that. And if that were the case, it would be something we missed really early on, which would be a little bit embarrassing, but... That's how it's looking, right? Yeah, sorry, I still have a little bit of a little bit of a runny nose, and who knows, I probably won't be able to record for too long just because my voice is a little bit on the scratchy side and I don't wanna overdo it, but I was really wanting to record, so so here I am. There's a newspaper, the article's been clipped out. That's right. Is there anything? Anything? Game! Game! Gotta help me out here. This is a pretty spacious room. I wouldn't be surprised if this were holding some sort of secret I had yet to find. But I was also pretty confident I checked everything. Know, guys I'm thinking it's looking like time to check out the walkthrough unfortunately my apologies for those of you that are disappointed by my having to turn to a walkthrough at certain points but thank you to those of you that have been patient throughout my trial and error process with this game it's just that yeah when I mean Briefly, I could go back in the basement and see if there's anything left in the generator room. I think I think I'll do that as one last effort before conceding to defeat. Oh, and I walked out the the wrong way. Is it this door that I should be going out of? Yes, I believe so. Man, I really think and I'm sure that later games do incorporate some sort of a mini-map because I keep having to check the map just to be sure I'm going in the right direction. Or at least not the direction that I want to be going in. Um, so we can we can actually take the elevator again. It would have been faster to have taken the stairs, but I'd already committed to the elevator option, so here we are. Okay. Wonder if the enemies came back. I don't think so, but... Man, would you listen to that? Oh wait, this is the stairwell. Uh, I also wanted to turn on the flashlight. It's a little bit annoying though. Oh, wait a minute. I think someone was, was saying that 
you can do that with the circle button. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, helpful commenter. Yeah, so we were in here. And this is where we turned on the generator and everything. I feel like this would also be a good place to hide that particular key item, you know? So you, you need to turn on the, the generator, obviously. But then you also need to identify the, the correct item that allows you to utilize the area the generator you know gives you access to. That's still jammed. Is there maybe like an electric door or something? Or an electric lock on a door so one of these doors is maybe now open while it wasn't before? Okay, that doesn't seem to be the case. Alright. Alright, alright. Then it looks like we're gonna head upstairs where the music's a little bit more friendly and then with some calmer music playing in the background I will gracefully look through <laughs> this guidebook. Although before I head out actually I do want to briefly take a look at a couple of the buttons that I wasn't that I'm really not sure I know what they do. Right? What are the Oh wait, no. These are just going to be the keep doors open versus close the door elevator buttons. Okay. Now, I'll take a look at the guide. All right. So, my apologies for spending your guys' time in the beginning of the episode, but apparently I I did I was following the guide per se by going up to the second floor trying the door, going to the third floor and trying the door. But apparently, what? When did the fourth button get there? Huh? Did I really just not notice the fourth button there? I'm going to have to take a look back at my gameplay and see whether or not cuz what? I was looking at the guide and it was like go to the new button on the elevator and I was like huh and now here here it is did I really just miss that somehow wow all right well regardless we'll go to the fourth floor supposed fourth floor let's take a look I feel like this is gonna be the spook floor the new floor that showed up after we failed to get anywhere new on the second and third whoa Is that the antique store that we were we were visiting earlier? Oh man. Oh man, guys. Look at our surroundings. It's just like the poltergeist school. All right. Uh, I don't have the map for this place. All right. Well, let's let's see. Definitely looks like a new floor. <laughs> no doubt about that. I'd imagine things are going to be a little bit spookier around here. So We'll want to be on the ready. Would you listen to that menacing music? What? Um, excuse me? Aw, oh, man. Okay. Plenty of locked doors. Is this door locked? Is this a door? No, it's probably a window. Okay, how about this door? All right, that door is jammed as well. Take it nice and slow. That door is locked as well. Is that a is this a door? Yeah, it looks like it. What about these doors? That one's jammed as well. Presumably these guys are too. Oh. They're not. So we're going to take a look and oh. Wow, okay. So, I walked over there, and the mist went away, and it became all dark. So now this area is dark, too. Alright, so those ones are definitely locked. Let's head over here, then. That, that door is locked as well. That door is locked as well. I'm, I'm noticing a pattern here, guys. Four, okay. Now we're going to head downstairs to the third floor. Is it still going to be in this, like, alternate hospital? Spook hospital? Oh! Oh, hello there. What are you? What are you? That looks like it has seen better days. Oh my goodness. It looks like a... Like a nurse gone wrong. 
Do I need to step on it? Yikes. Well, oh man, I really wish I had a map. Oh, I do! Okay. So, we were just in that hallway. Okay, and it doesn't look like there were any rooms to go in anyways, but the third floor. The third floor. There's plenty to see here, it seems. Um, we'll start off by checking out the bathrooms. Alright, maybe not that one. How about this one? Anything? Anything? Definitely looks like this room has seen cleaner days. There's got to be something hiding back here. Oh, no, it's a very open, very open space. This has got to be the uh, the men's bathroom. <laughs> okay. I was going to say the, the complete lack of stalls. There is a plate of turtle. Plate of turtle? What? What does that mean? All right, I guess I guess we'll take it. Anything in the urinals? No. Anything in the sink? No. Oh. And what might that have been? A jump scare? Okay, just a jump scare. Back out of the hallway with the killer nurses. What was interesting is that when we were first fighting that nurse thing, thing, um, it definitely reacted to us approaching it with the light on. So I do think it does, that having the flashlight on does attract enemies. What is going on here? There's a cage of some sort? Bird cage, it's empty. Okay, presumably we need to either open it to get something or we need to put a cage in there. Not a cage in there, a bird in the cage. Words, Nick, words. Is there a way to interact with this part of it or is it just to look at it? No, okay. All right, well, this is room, what, 301? Oh, of course. When I want to, when I want to pull up the map, I don't. Room 301. All right, the bird cage is in 301. Let's let's head on over to the next one, I guess. What's going on here? Oh. Okay. Where where are we now? Is this the linen room? Okay, and this is going to be the bridge to the other half of the floor, so I do think actually I'm going to come back here later as I'll definitely need to in the process of exploring the rest of, you know, the floor. Let's go in here. This is room 302, and we've got a decent amount of stuff here, like a save point. How lovely. I'm loving that, oh, I was gonna say, they're just letting us make more and more save slots. Anything else of interest in here? Some IV bags and stands, do you need any, Harry? A little bit uh, dehydrated, VCR, it's old but usable, describes, uh, VCR pretty well. Do I wonder, do I even have any more VHS tapes? I feel like I don't anymore. Alright, we'll take some shotgun shells. We got plenty of those now, I believe. This part of the wall looks kind of like it's bulging out. Maybe intentional? Probably not. Okay. We'll keep heading this way. The music seems to have calmed down a little bit. Oh, it's here. Oh man, those things run fast. Let me see real quick. How much damage did that do? <coughs> Apologies for the cough interruptions. Um, it didn't seem to do a ton of damage with that slash. So I think I'll actually uh, hold it out, hold out a little bit. Man, that th I think it took like five or six shots. That's that's quite a bit. And it doesn't look like we're bleeding out or anything. We'll reload. How many bullets do we have? Okay, we've got 170 handgun bullets. Yeah, this we, we're definitely doing pretty well on these, so that's that's good to know. Um, someone was mentioning that unlike Resident Evil, the ammo isn't actually too scarce in this game, which is obviously a pro and a con. When you feel like you can actually fight back, you're a lot more confident, you're not as scared, and you kind of have to be a little bit more strategic with which enemies do you fight, which do you run from, all that jazz. Uh, a steel plate is screwed to the wall. So, if if these plates are going to mean anything, I wonder, can I place the other plate on this one, or is this a plate that I need to collect myself? Nope, can't use it. Okay. Can I use the liquid? No. Okay. Can I use this? 
I guess not. So my, my guess would then be that I need to find a screwdriver or something like that in order to take that plate off the wall because it seems like I've got to do the collecting of the plates. Um, all right, I, I think that's really all there is to it. So again, 301 has the bird cage, 303 has the, the metal plate screwed to the wall. And I think that covers this half of the third floor. Oh, video in 302. So the VCR. Oh, are we gonna find a VHS tape and play it? That's really neat. What's going on down here? Is this somewhere I can look? Somewhere I can go down? Or just an obstruction for me running from whatever may attack me in the hallways? Probably that. If I take a look inside, here's some dryers. Useless now. How about later though? Harry gonna fall in a, a muddy puddle or something like that and need to dry off his clothes in, in this sketchy hospital. Okay, what is going on with the symbols and everything on the on the wall here? Okay, yep, knew there would be an enemy. Let's turn around. I can't really see that well, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. Because on our right, we have the storage room. And it doesn't sound like there's an enemy in here. Nothing useful in the boxes. Is it bottle filled with some kind of drug? Better leave it. Huh? Why are we leaving it? Could maybe use that. It's a bottle filled with some drug. Alright, well, I guess in the storage room, we might as well note that there are these bottles with drugs. What is this? A blood pack. Hopefully we don't need that. <laughs> we got plenty of health drinks. A blood pack would probably be like the ultimate recovery item. <laughs> we'll take some more ammo. More handgun bullets. All right. And I think I think we're good. Oh, is that a health drink? What is what is this on the table here? That looks like something I can interact with. Let me pick it up. You guys see it? You guys see what I'm talking about? Doesn't that look like something you can interact with? I think so. Regardless, uh, it looks like that was all there is to the storage room. There's no other door or anything like that. Oh. <laughs> there totally is. Let's head to the storeroom then. Let's not head to the storeroom then. <laughs> Let's go chat with the nurses in the hallway. Have a grand old time. Oh, can they even make their way over? It's coming. And... Attack! It's charging! Oh man. So, what did I learn there? Oh, that you can and will to an extent need to stomp these things. But also, whoa, that one only took like four shots. Huh, whereas the other one took plenty more, but in from closer range and a stomp on top of that. But what was worth noting is that for the first like couple shots, it didn't take any recoil. It didn't stop charging at me and pulling out that knife and looking like it was going to stab me. Which is worth noting. It looked like it was only on every third shot that it was actually taking recoil and I was interrupting its attack cycle. Which is really important for knowing how much flexibility I have with actually running away, getting away from them. Or interrupting their attack, you know. It might be worth it to get that extra shot in if it means that I'll be able to prevent them from attacking me. Alright, what do we have in here? Hmm. Looks like there'll be something at the back of the room. Yep, is this another plate? There's a plate of cat. Alright, so we have turtle and cat. That's something. Is there anything else in the room? Probably not. Looks like there might be something on this tray, but again... It doesn't look like it's letting me interact with it, so we'll take it at face value, and we should be good to head to room 307 then. So let's see what's going on there. All right, looks like nothing. <laughs> let's head back and save. 
I think that's a pretty reasonable thing to do before moving on to the stairwell. I feel like that would be a good transition point into the next, I don't know, stage of this nightmare. Where did we say the save point was? I think it was 302. So let's head over there. Also, what's worth noting is that second hallway had a much more difficult terrain to, you know, run over. Uh, it gives you a lot less space to actually get around enemies, right? So you do have to take them on. You can't necessarily run past them, or at least as easily as we could in previous areas, which is interesting from like a game design standpoint. And in this hall, it's a component, but it's not like huge. But in the next hall, it was a lot bigger. Um, or rather, the, the ground was a lot smaller, but as a component, right, of design, it was a lot bigger. So I wouldn't be surprised if going forward, there were going to be more obstructive, difficult terrains to work with that we'll just have to get used to, that they are starting to introduce here and, you know, getting us used to in this little section. It's unlocked. Did, did I do that? <laughs> I feel like we're going to be, you know, coming back here because it was what, 302 had the VCR and 301, I think, had the birdcage and 304 had the, the steel plate when you had the screwdriver. Yeah, we're, I, we're definitely coming back here. Let's see if the elevator works. It does. How lovely. Yo, even the elevators changed appearances. I guess that should be a given, really. Can I, can I use the button? Hello? There we go. <laughs> and the fourth floor is gone. Huh, would you look at that? All right, well, let's head down to the second floor then and explore what we can. No elevator attack yet? Guess not. Much to my surprise. Anything on the chairs here? No. Anything in the corners? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's map out our plan of attack before we enter the hallway, enter the fray where we've got our, our evil nurses potentially waiting for us. Worst case scenario for an, you know, a bit of panic. Well, doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> um, looks like the second floor isn't an option. Then, because we are technically in the alternate school, school, uh, alternate hospital. We can probably go back to these floors from earlier and they'll be very different. So let's see what's going on on the first floor. Looks like we maybe triggered a cutscene. Nope. Let's see here. Can I get a better idea of where I'm getting attacked from? Hello? Enemy? Where are you at? There we go. All right. Oh, interesting. That was a doctor. And I still hear a little bit of static. It's fading, but still a little bit there. Worth noting. So that was a doctor. There's a health drink. Oh, I didn't I, I didn't even see that. I was just kind of like inspecting. Oh, there's another health drink. Oh, can we just like <laughs> There's a broken vending machine. The vending machine's broken, so we could just reach in and take anything we wanted. That's actually hilarious. That's actually hilarious. I appreciate that. Can we head outside? No, we can't. I didn't think so, but I'd try. Yeah, listen to the static. There's totally another enemy up there. Regardless. Oh. My goodness. That was a spooky sound effect. I thought we were going to be entering the director's office. We'll go, we'll go downstairs in good time. Oh my goodness, would you listen to that? I knew there was another enemy. The question is, where? And when are we gonna run into them? Or when are they gonna run into us? All right, director's office. What do we find in here? Another plate, it seems. And, hello? This isn't a funny knock-knock joke. <laughs> um. The plate of queen. Queen, cat, and turtle. Okay, I'm not really seeing a pattern here. Not yet. But it looks like we can save, so nice. Big, big fan of that. I appreciate that we can just keep making new files. 
makes my life a lot easier. Oh man, you are right in my face. Okay, again, I was counting there and it looked like it was three or four shots that needed to take place before there was the, the cycle. And again, we still have, you know, like 160. Really? Where are we getting attacked from? Maybe behind? I don't know. Maybe these guys respawn? What? There's one in here too? What's gonna attack me in here? Oh! You are! Let's take a look at our health. Okay, now we're in the red. I was gonna say, that, that knife looked like it would've done the job. Alright. So we've got 10 health drinks, we've got 10 first aid kits, and we got two of the ampoules. We are, we are doing really well with the health right now. No, 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 don't come in for the second swing. Okay. So you have been eliminated. What else are we going to find in here, though? There's got to be something, right? Well, maybe not. Red herrings are a thing. Dead ends are a thing. Something in the refrigerator. It's empty. No, that was my best guess. What's this on the counter? Right here. Oh, a health drink. Okay. Basically, completely negating our, our cubby here in the first place, right? We came here and ended up using a health drink, and before we're leaving, we got another one. So it's like we never came here at all. And I'm not really seeing anything that we can interact with. So maybe, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't, I don't think so. I'd be kind of surprised if they had a completely empty room. But I guess not. Alright, back into the hallway. Yep, the doctor's out to kill us. Three, four, five. Okay, now it finally sounds like we got rid of all of them. Okay. Oh, from the kitchen? No, it's from the doctor's office we can go over. Okay, let's check out the office then. Nope. Doesn't seem like there's anything. What's in the back here, though? Nothing helpful. Is this ammo or is it a plate? No, it's just ammo. Okay, anything else? It doesn't really look like... Can I inspect what's in the drawer? No. Alright. Well, then... What is that? Oh, it's just like a belt. I thought that was something on the tables. Because I've seen that on the tables before. But, no. It just looks like it's not really an item. Okay, we're in another room. We've got the holes in the floor. What are we going to find in the back? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What room is this? Remind me to never come here again. <laughs> the storeroom. Okay. Well, we can go to the medicine room and that'll take us to the other side. Maybe, oh, maybe we can actually go through this door. What was that? That's the... Oh, we can actually go through this door. And we're gonna note back out of there. <laughs> what is with this game and... The, the jump scare noises as I'm about to leave a room. Killing me. Killing me, game. Alright, this was the... to go downstairs, I believe. This was the first actual room we, we went to, right? This is not the one... or no, it is the one with the, the save point. Okay. So we're going to save here, and we're going to continue to explore the hospital in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, apologies for the first 7, 8, 10 minutes where I was wandering around trying to figure out what to do, when I probably just wasn't noticing that there was an extra button on the elevator, and that was probably pretty frustrating. That said, pretty excited to be back in this sort of, like, you know, darker, scarier, spookier environment associated with the hospital now. And again, like I said, we have the rest of the first floor to explore, the medicine room, examination room, etc. if we're able to. And then I think we can use that stairwell to get up to the second floor. And then we've got the whole second floor to explore. And that doesn't even account for, you know, the fact that if we do return to the regular hospital, 
we probably still have the second and third floor to explore there. We also still have the basement floor to explore in this alternate hospital. So there's quite a bit going on. And when we look at what items we have, right? We've got the cat plate, we've got the turtle plate, we've got the queen plate, we've got this blood pack, we've got this red liquid, we have this weird thing, and there's apparently a bird cage we need to interact with, there's a steel plate we need to interact with, there's still quite a bit to figure out, so th there's, there's a lot coming up, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. But regardless, till the next episode, it's Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.